Hello, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, people do read the comments, and so when you leave some constructive comments, it helps other people as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the email here. And the person's name is Jeffrey. I'll leave his last name out of it. The subject is Advanced Math Studies. I was curious to hear your advice. I will try unsuccessfully to keep it short. I am a 54-year-old former math prodigy. I graduated from John Hopkins at 18 with a BA in math, which I loved, but with parental encouragement chose the practical path of medicine. It was a good choice that has allowed me to have a stable life and raise a wonderful family. As I see retirement approaching, I find that my love of math has reawakened. I am experiencing or re-experiencing topics in algebra and scouting out monkeries. I plan over the summer to review calculus and differential equations and then proceed to analysis. My real love, I think, is algebra and number theory, though I don't have the breadth of knowledge to make that determination. What would you recommend for me as I hope to retire in about five years? Should I enroll in an online master's program? Jeff self-study and maybe hire a postdoc to guide me. What else? Thanks for your input. Jeff, I really appreciate your email and I think it's a really good question. And I know what you mean. I know that feeling where you just kind of want to sit down and just go over math just for the sake of it. That wonderfulness of math is something that I don't know if I can get it from anything else. And I feel like you're in that place now where you've had your career, you've raised a family, and you're at a point now where you just kind of want to sit outside under a tree and, and do some math. And maybe it's because I just saw <laughs> the movie about Ramanujan um, last night and I'm just blown away by it. And I do have some advice. So first of all, you ask, should you enroll in an online master's program? My advice would be yes, but if it's possible, maybe try to find a program that is face-to-face. -face. So if you're in the position where you know, you're within reasonable driving distance to an actual college campus, I think that would be better because it would put you in an actual classroom with other students. And I think that would be a really good experience. Um, I think it's always better to take classes face-to-face -face versus online if possible, because you'll get a better experience. You can ask questions, you get to interact with the professor face-to-face. -face. In some cases, if you live near a major university, some of the professors you'll encounter are quite famous. You know, most professors at most good schools uh, come from really good backgrounds. I mean, you come from a really good background. And so I think that would be cool. I think it would be cool if you had the opportunity to take a class face to face. If you can't do that or if it's too much of a hassle, um, maybe an online master's program would be a good bet. And again, that would give you maybe some interaction online and it would give you structure. It would give you structure, which really helps with self-study. As much as I love self-study, and I think self-study is great and it's the way to go, having some structure really, really helps. You know, the problem is when you add that structure, you're also adding pressure. <laughs> so, but hey, there's no pressure, right? Nothing's at stake. You're going to retire. You don't need it to live. It's all about learning. So I think, yes, you should definitely try to enroll in some type of program. I think it will be good. I think it's I think it's exciting and I'm excited for you. And you mentioned hire a postdoc to guide you. I actually don't know about that. I don't know if that's a thing. Do people do that? Um, I think just going to an actual college and interacting would be good. Also, even if you have a college nearby, let's say you have a college nearby and for some reason you have reservations about taking classes face to face for whatever reason. I think you should, but let's just say you decide not to. They often have tea time at certain colleges where, you know, they get together once a week, the math department, and they'll have tea. And this is where all the faculty converse and share mathematical ideas. So it's a way to go and meet other graduate students, meet other math professors, and interact. So that's my advice. You know, reading your email uh, is exciting. It makes me want to do math right now. And I really appreciate your email, Jeff. If anyone else has any advice for Jeff, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck, Jeff.